welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mandy Glam and I'm back with another perfume video. So it's been a while since I've done a perfume blind buy. So I have four fragrances here that I'm gonna open up with y'all, smell them, see if I like them, see if they're staying, or see if they're going back to the store, or if I'm going to sell them on Poshmark. So I have some fragrances in my collection that I've been like holding on to that I rarely wear, and I was like, you know what? Since I've gotten into the whole uh, perfume thing and doing all these perfume reviews, um, I know that it's just gonna pile up. Like, all my fragrances are gonna pile up. They gonna get dusty, honey. I'm not gonna wear them as often as I should because I can't wear perfumes and fragrances to work. Oh, so if y'all asking about my shirt, let me see so y'all can see what it says. Uh, I got this shirt when I was in Venice Beach, California at a little uh, cute t-shirt shop. I will try to see if I can find the name and put it below so y'all can um, maybe order it online. I don't know if y'all can order it online or not, child. We was just walking through there. <clears throat> Excuse me. We was walking through there and we went into this t-shirt shop and they had a lot of cute t-shirts. It's somewhere in Venice Beach, California by that little area where they like work out Muscle Beach. I think that's what they call it, Muscle Beach. So anyway, so I know y'all gonna be asking me where I got this shirt from. So that's why I got this shirt from. It's my favorite t-shirt. So anyway, back to the perfume. So I was going back and forth like, should I keep the perfumes in my collection or should I get rid of them? And I think I want to purge some of my perfumes. But I think the thing I'm gonna do is Poshmark. I know some people, um, other YouTubers that I watch, they do Macari, and um, I saw some not so good reviews on Macari, so I don't know. Let me know, have y'all bought any fragrances off of Macari or Poshmark? Let me know which one y'all prefer, um, because a lot of y'all out there do buy fragrances online and y'all know better than me so let me know which way i should go it's either going to be poshmark or it's going to be macari one of those two so anyway i put a, a budget on myself for each fragrance i really didn't want to go over ten dollars like that's how cheap i was trying to be like i'm not trying to go over my budget but a couple of them I couldn't resist and they were much more than $10. So anyway, there's four. I'm going to go ahead and go through them now. So the first one is, oh, can y'all see that? This is Kevin Klein and this is Secret Obsession. Now, I'm not a fan of the original uh, Calvin Klein Obsession. I never was. I just, I knew somebody that wore it constantly, all the time, and it just, I just got turned off from a child, like, mm, mm I can't, I can't do it, I mean, mm, mm so yeah, this one was $19.99, I don't know if y'all can see it, so I went to TJ Mark, TJ Mark, TJ Max. I went to, um, uh, Marshalls, and then I went to, Nordstrom Rack Room, okay? So, yeah, this one's from Marshall. So let's get into it. I hope I like it. Um, I read the reviews on it, and a lot of people say it comes off a little masculine, which I have no problem with. I'm a big fan of masculine fragrances. Um, Y'all know this already because I said it a 100 times in my previous videos. I just really like masculine fragrances patchouli sandalwood musk you know i like those type of fragrances i don't think they make this anymore um i'm not sure y'all tell me let me know but i think they discontinued it but um oh wow the bottle is super cute this is the bottle it's very cute very cute i love that it's pretty 
Let's see what this baby smell like. Let's see if I can. Ooh. Mmm. Mmm. And they only had, they had this one and they had another one. And I was like, if I really like this, I'm gonna go back and get the other one and just have two. Especially if they don't make it anymore. Mmm. This smells good. Spread. Oh yeah, this is sexy. Mmm. Damn. Ooh. Ooh, man. Okay. Ooh, how can I explain this? Why the hell they stop making this? See, that's what be pissing me off. I don't understand why they stop making things that smell so good. This secret obsession, honey. Woo, what is the secret? Let me, ooh, child, let me see. How can I explain the feminine? It is, you definitely, it's very deep. There's some depth in this perfume. It has a little sweetness to it, y'all. This is sexy as, oh my God, this is sexy. What was I, what, where have I been? Man, I've been sleeping? What the? This is sexy. Okay, we have to get the notes in this. You got it. Okay, so the notes in here are, the top notes are plum, exotic plum, nutmeg, um, rose damask, damask, I guess that's how you pronounce it, um, Egyptian, jasmine, French orange blossom, seductive tuberose with notes of cashmere woods, Madagascar vanilla, burnt amber, and Australian sandalwood. Y'all, this is so good. God, I feel now I gotta go back and get the other bottle. This easily, easily could be one of my, can become one of my top 10 fragrances. Like, I got 10 fragrances that I just cannot live without, like I refuse to live without. And this one, just got added to that list because this baby this is so good man to know that they discontinue something so beautiful and it saddens me that i just found out about it damn this is pretty this is pretty definitely all right moving on to the next one so this is Adrian Vettadini, okay, and I want to give a shout out to my girl Valley Vaughn, the Perfume Don. I will put her YouTube channel name down here. Um, and she is just a cool person, y'all. Go check out her channel, go watch her perfume reviews. She is the sweetest person. I've never met this woman in person, but she showed me so much love on my channel on Instagram, and so I just wanted to give her a shout out. Hey, girl, what's up? So anyway, she has talked about this fragrance in her um, in some of her reviews, at least for me twice I've heard her mention this fragrance. She said it's very, very good and it was $9 at TJ Maxx. So when I saw it, I had to pick it up. I really didn't care that it had the, like, I didn't really want the lotion in it. I just wanted the fragrance, like, but if it's good as she says it is, then the lotion is just a plus. So, um, damn. So yeah, I wanted to give this a try and see. I'm trying to conserve the box because if <laughs> I don't like it, it might go back to the stove, girl. I'm just saying. It might. And this is what the bottle looks like. Okay. Sorry, it's a glare. But um, yeah, I mean, I when right now there's another one out by the same perfume maker, and I can't think of the name of it. Um, but this is the one that I wanted. So I think you take the top off. Like, oh, do you take the top off? There we go. Um, can't smell anything there. Ooh, I'm excited about this one. Oh, this is good. Okay, Valley Vaughn. Yes, girl. This is pretty. You know, this this is one of those fragrances like 
I see it TJ Maxx and I'm like I have never heard of this person it's super cheap and I don't know why I always put cheap and unknown perfumer together and I'm like it's not gonna be good but surprisingly y'all this is really good this is midnight blossom um, let's get the notes okay y'all so the notes in this include bergamot uh, clamamin what okay psychomen Okay. Um, it's a floral. It's uh, well, it's described as a rich, deep floral. Um, it has patchouli, and they also call it like a black leather type fragrance. Um, so there's not a lot of information on here about the notes in this fragrance. I guess because it came out a long time ago, came out in the '90s. But yes, now that this is drying down. I do smell black leather. This is definitely a black leather fragrance. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Woman by Donna Karen. That's exactly what this reminds me of. I couldn't remember like what it was that was, you know, what I was trying to think of because it's very unique. It's very different. It's a very standout perfume. Nothing like anything that I own except for that Woman by Donna Karen. So yes, this definitely reminds me of a black leather jacket. So my next one is, um, I'll talk about this one. This is one I ran across. This is by Blocky. I know y'all can't see that, but it's B-L-O-C-K-I. I guess I'm pronouncing that right. This is Blocky. Um, when I researched it, I feel like I remember them in the review saying that this was like a niche fragrance. So. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what niche fragrances are. Go ahead and comment below. I know y'all gonna help us aside and tell me what niche fragrances are. Does niche mean super expensive? Does niche mean indie, like an individual company that makes perfumes? Is niche like, what is niche? Oh, help me out, let me know. So let's open this up. Um, now they do, when I looked up Blocky, this is an American made perfume uh, company that's been around since the 1800s um, and they are a, an American based uh, perfumer and this one happens to be Saharit, okay, I did uh, try on another one and I can't remember the name of it. I will put it down in the description box below. This, but this is Saharit. It's S A H A R E T. Saharit. It has cardamom, Egyptian geranium, and green vet vet vetiver. Green vetiver. I don't know if I'm really into green. Um, I really want to be into uh, Isimiyaki. Um, I know Isimiyaki is a very uh, oriental. Um, fragrance to me it reminds me of something green it reminds me of a pond <laughs> I mean I'm just saying like a pond, a lily pond that's what Izumiyaki reminds me of and I've just never been a fan of that whole um, lily pond fragrance you know, like I said originally $165 they marked it down to $44.97 and then on top of that, I got an additional 25% off. So that was good. I just went in there um, to see if I could find some gems. And you slide the box open like so. Okay, it's just cute. I like that. Um, I love the box. Oh, look, it's green. You can look, it's green, y'all. Yeah, it's green. Oh my God, I hope I like this. This is the bottle. This is what it looks like. Can't smell anything. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hold up. I ain't got no more papers. Ooh, let me see. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous, man, because I don't have no problem taking shit, taking stuff back to the store. Ooh, okay. It's giving me, it's not giving me Lily Pond vibes, okay? No, it's not. Now, 
I'm gonna let it dry down a little bit because I feel like I feel like uh, it's kind of giving me uh, sweet pickle juice. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just being real with y'all. If y'all know anything about this perfumer, Blocky, comment below and let me know. So I'm gonna let it dry down. I, I'm actually gonna spray it on my skin. This is a good one. I'm gonna spray it on my hand. I'm gonna let it dry down so it can mix in with my chemistry. And you know, since perfume is going to be the majority of my uh, channel, I guess I need to be more open to different scents so I can really bring y'all differences, not just things that I like, you know what I'm saying? Because I can bring you things I like all day. You know what I'm saying? Nobody want to be like, man, we know you like patchouli, girl. We know you like sandalwood. We know you like smelling like a man. <laughs> so, you know, I want to I wanna open up my mind to different things so I can, you know, be a well-rounded perfume reviewer for y'all, okay? It's very soapy. It even kind of gives me uh, spa vibes. You know when you go into a spa and it feel, it smells soapy, it smells clean, it smells fresh. That's what this is. This is a very soapy, clean, fresh fragrance. Let's and find out what the notes in in the Saharit. I guess I'm saying that right, Saharit. Okay, so the notes in the Saharit um, include pink pepper, mandarin orange, uh, cardamom, geranium, amber, um, cashmere wood, vetiver, patchouli, and labdanum. 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 I don't know how to say that. Labdanum. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So, um, yes, it was actually launched in 2019, so this is a fairly new fragrance. Yeah, initial whiff, I smell the green, okay? I smell the green, I think they called it green vetiver. Yes. Now, I do love vetiver, and it's different when it's mixed in with this green elements. This definitely is a springtime fragrance. You definitely can wear this in the springtime, summertime, and I feel like So yeah, I like this. Again, I found this at Nordstrom um, Rack. is one that I've been going on and on and on and on about. Um, how I wanted to add it to my collection and I did find it at um, TJ Maxx and this is the Versace black oh no this is the Versace crystal noir okay they had the gift set um, this one was $49.99 this is the box okay this is what it looks like so I can smell this without even taking the perfume out of the box, okay? Here's the bottle. This is a 1.7 ounce. So I feel like this is a good um, size bottle for me. Okay. Let me spray it on this hand. <laughs> okay, um, hey, I don't hate it. I don't want y'all to think I hate it. But I'm not in love with it either. This reminds me of shampoo. It, it really does. It reminds me of a shampoo. And I'm going to let it dry down. Let's get the notes while it's drying down, okay? That Secret Obsession by Calvin Klein gives me dark mysterious okay vibes this does not give me dark mysterious vibes i'm sorry it just doesn't sad to say that this is going this is going back to the store this last one is not a blind buy and i'm really mad at tj maxx for having this one i'm real mad at them i'm like big mad at them because i went in the store i had a budget i didn't want to spend a certain amount but I'm so in love with this fragrance. I've been in love with this fragrance for a very, very, very long time. Let me just stop running my mouth. 
So this is the Twist by Mew Mew. I guess that's the way you say it. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. So, I ain't even gonna tell y'all how much I paid for it. Let me just put it like this. If I would just have gotten the bottle from Sephora, I would have paid 75 upward for just this size bottle alone. I got the I got the lotion and a 3.4 ounce bottle for less than that, okay? This is what it looks like once you take out the take the top off and y'all this this fragrance is good like I just don't understand why more other youtubers don't talk about this fragrance this fragrance is just so this is definitely a springtime fragrance um you so the notes include bergamot apple blossom um combined with cedar and a pink amber accord okay but i love this oh my god this is this is definitely a pretty sexy springtime fragrance you can definitely wear this in the springtime this is this is what i'm going to be picking up come spring come summer because I'm gonna be outside a lot in Houston, y'all. It get hot. You be sweating. Soon as you walk outside, you bust into in a sweat. You know what I'm saying? It's very humid and hot down here, and I love this. This is gonna be perfect for that type of weather. All right. So that concludes my blind buy video. So yeah, I and you know this the blocky. Now that I'm, I'm smelling it, it's dried down, it's definitely a keeper. I think I'm gonna keep this because this is definitely becoming more of my type of uh, vibe as far as what I like in fragrances. And that green vetiver is really like very pronounced in the dry down and it's good, it's good. So that is the end of this video, next video. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to the ones that have been subscribed to my channel since day one. I love all of y'all. Thank you for your support. Thank you for the wonderful, beautiful comments that y'all leave me. You know, I love to chat with y'all. So, you know, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, share it, comment below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful week. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.